الحديث الرابع عشر لفوتيث حديث عن أنس بن مالك رضي الله تعالى عنه أنه قال كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يدخل الخلاء فأحمل أنا وغلام نحوي إداوة من ماء وعنزة فيستنجي بالماء العنزة الحربة الصغيرة This hadith is collected by Bukhari Bukhari collected this hadith and narrated it in his authentic book in two of the chapters Kitab al-Wudu and also in Kitab al-Salah He brought this hadith in Kitab al-Wudu and Kitab al-Salah Within Kitab al-Wudu he, he brought it in four places in, inside Kitab al-Wudu four different places and one place in Kitab al-Salah The Imam al-Muslim he narrated this hadith in Kitab al-Tahara and the wording is his the wording of this hadith is Imam al-Muslim's wordings the Sahabi that narrated this hadith, we took his biography, um, Anas ibn Malik, on the 12th hadith. When we were on the 12th hadith, we took it. This hadith talks about uh, the rolling of purifying yourself with water uh, when you urinate or you do feces. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, uh, uh, sorry, Anas ibn Malik said, Kana Rasulullah, the messenger was, alayhi salatu was salam, يَدْخُلُ الْخَلَاءَ The Prophet was one that used to go to Al-Khala. Khala, as I said, is مَكَانُ الْخَالِ It's an empty space that is prepared for, uh, to, use call, to do your call of nature. It's an open land. The Messenger وسلم, went. Anas ibn Malik said, فَأَحْمِلُ I will carry أَنَا مِي وَغُلَامٌ أَنَا slave boy نَحْوِي نَحْوِي means what? A مُقَارِبٌ لِي فِي السِّنْ A boy uh, a, 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 a boy that is close to me the same age. It's close to me in the same age. Nahwi means close with me in the same age. Uh, yeah. What will they carry? Idawatan. Uh, Idawatan is a, uh, a, a utensil which is small, uh, made from skin. And water is inside it. And water is inside it. So, I and that boy would carry the, the water, the utensil of the water in it, mimma'in uh, wa'anzatan. And anza is what? It's a, a, a harba. That, yes, a staff. Um, but it's small. It's very small. Um, and the Prophet, as Ibn Sa'ad mentioned his tabaqat, uh, it used to be owned by Najashi. He gave it to Prophet as a gift, alayhi salatu wasalam. And it was a, he was given to a, the Prophet as a gift from Najashi. Because it was from the weapons of fight. Uh, this was a weapon they used to use to fight. They, this is the way they used to fight. So he gave it to the Prophet as a gift. The Prophet he took it. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he done his call of call of nature, he purified, he cleaned himself. فَيَسْتَنْجِي بِالْمَاءِ And the Prophet used water to clean himself. فَيَسْتَنْجِي Istinja, we said, is to purify yourself with water. He would do that alayhi salatu wa salam. Alayhi salatu wa salam. But what would he use the, um, the, uh, the uh, anza for? What would he use the, the an, uh, anza? He would use it for his salah, the sutra, alayhi salatu salam. He would put it in front of him and that would be his sutra for the salah, alayhi salatu salam. And as for the idawah, it was a, uh, the idawah was that uh, water was in it and the Prophet salam would do his call of nature from that. Okay? The fiqh that we take from the hadith. Um, the virtue of Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu as he was one who served the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa Ten years he served him. Two, using a place which is prepared to do your call of nature when you need to do so. Three, going far from the places where people can see you huh, when you're doing your call of nature. <clears throat> Four, to protect yourself from the people not seeing you. Protecting yourself 
from the people not to see you. Because the Prophet ﷺ used to also use the what? The anaza. He used to use it for himself as whilst he was in his call of nature. He would put it, he would dig it in front of himself to slightly not allow the person to fully see him. He would do that. Alayhi salatu wasalam. Five. I'dad al Muslim al Tahuru qabla an yaqdi hajata. That the person, the Muslim should prepare what he's going to purify himself with before he does his call of nature. Ah. Some people, they go to the toilet and they call out for the water. Or they call out for stuffs. The person should prepare whatever he's going to need before he goes. Don't, ah, ah, shut up. <laughs> Don't call out. I need water. I need water. And you'll need the call of nature. Have it prepared before you go. Ah. Uh, because it opens the door and then the people are going to have to smell the uh, odor or the, the smell. So prepare it way before. Alma muqaddamu ala al-hijara, Philistine jab. Water takes precedence over the stone in terms of, in terms of purity. Because it takes the uh, dirt and the filth off you better, the water. <coughs> this is a refutation also, the hadith 7th. It's a refutation. The people who refute and refuse water to be used to clean yourself. Because they say that it's food. You're not allowed to clean yourself with water. It's food. And it's disliked. Eight. The permissibility of using youngsters, even if they're free. They're not slaves. They're free. Ah, um, to serve you, to serve you. Nine, احترام أهل الفضل والصلاح وخدمتهم وعونهم على الأمر المشروع. Honoring the people of virtue and the people of righteousness, serving them, helping them in matters which are legislated, like Anas did, and the slave and the servant. I keep saying slave, servant. Okay, there's a difference between a slave and a servant. Number 10, Khidmatul Alim, serving the scholar. Sharafun, it's an honor for the learner. It's the, st the student to serve the, the scholar. It's an honor for the student. And the situation of the Salaf for this is clear, clear, clear. They used to serve their teachers and help the teachers. Number 11, Ta'alimul Abna'i, teaching, teaching the children. Adabul Islamiyah, teaching the children the manners of the Islamic manners and cultiv culti cultivating them on it. Because Anas was very young and also the boy was young and they were both learning from the Prophet uh, a lot of things. Number 12, the benefits that the Anza has. The Anza. What was it in English? Yeah. The staff. The benefit that it has is as follows. You can, if animals come to you whilst you're doing your call of nature, you don't have to run around. You can use your staff and, 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 and get rid of animals that want to harm you whilst you're out there in the open. Okay? Um, number, the second benefit that it has also is you're able to dig the earth with it just before you want to urinate. You can dig the earth with it so the urine doesn't come back to you. The, the land might be hard. But if you dig a hole in it, it won't come back to you. So it helps you in that sense. The third benefit that it has is ta'liqul amti'ah. You can put your product on top of it, your stuffs, your clothes. You can put it right on top of it. Are you all with me? So you take your trousers and everything off and you dig it on the ground and you can put your stuffs on top of it. Um, the fourth benefit that you can have is عليها, you can lean on it you can hold on to it and lean whilst you're doing your call of nature okay um, five you can take it as a sutra when you're doing your prayer
using it as a, if you put your clothes on it, you can protect yourself from people seeing the aura. If you stick it and you stick your clothes to it, you can cover your aura, no one can see you. You can use it as, place your clothing on it and use it as a veil to cover yourself from anyone who wants to see you. It has a lot of benefits. It has a lot of benefits. Um, the, pe the ikhtilaf of the ulama regarding some matters pertaining to this hadith. The first one is to use the water. As I mentioned before, some of the ulama did say that the water can't be used because it's a food as you can't use food. Um, they said water cannot be used, but that's a ref this hadith refutes them. The other thing is that, that so some scholars have a dispute on regarding is um, that it's not permissible to use a stone when there's water there. Some scholars said that you are not allowed to use stone when there is water there. Water is greater and better. Okay? Um, Imam al nawi in Sharh al-Sahih muslim he said, فَالَّذِي عَلِيهِ جَمَاهِيرٌ مِّنَ السَّلَفِ that which the majority of the Salaf are upon. Wal Khalaf and the latecomers. And the people of Fatwa have also agreed upon from the scholars of the land. And that the best one is Al Jam to combine the two. That's the best. If you can if you have water and then you've got stone, is to use both of them is the best. Uh, to combine between water and stone. So you use the stone first. فَيَسْتَعْمِلُ الْحَجَرَ أَوَّلًا You use the stone first. No, he says. لِتَخْفِيفِ النَّجَاسَةِ So you can lessen the what? The impurity. And then after that, وَالتَّقِيلُ مُبَشَرَةَ بِيَدِي You clean it and you lessen the, the, the filth with the stone and also your hands will not come into contact with anything. Once that has happened, ثُمَّ يَسْتَعْمِلُ الْمَاءِ You use the water. You use the, the water. فَإِنْ أَرَادَ الْإِخْتِصَارُ عَلَىٰ حَدِيمًا If a person chooses to shorten on one of the two. I mean, he chooses to do water only, or he chooses to use stone only. He does it. Jaz al It is permissible for him to shorten on any of the two he wants. Ala ayyuhuma sha' Whichever he wills. Sawa, it's the same. Sawa, it is the same. Wajad al akhari aw lam yajid. Whether he finds the other one and he can use the other one, or if he doesn't. It's the same. He's allowed to shorten in usage of one. So that's what Imam Nur Rahimallah refutes there. Also, Ibn Mulaqin in his Ilam before Waid al Undat al Hakam, we also brought a benefit like that, um, summarizing the issue like that. Naam.